teams were desperate. Um, very pleased with my guys. Uh, when someone hits a three like that, it can take the wind out of you, the air out of you. And our guys uh, just hung with it. And they've been doing that all year, so uh, very pleased for my guys. What does that say about you guys, the way you fought back and, and you know, never, never really let down? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we, for the most part, have been doing it. We really uh, challenged Cam uh, after last game because he's a great kid, and uh, I just didn't think he was at the level he needed to be. Well, well, clearly, he responded. Um, and it's great to get play from upperclassmen. You know, Loomis Garing was outstanding. Uh, we've been harping about the glass, and, and we were, you know, 17 offensive rebounds. That, that's, uh, that's terrific. Did you see that coming from Garing at all? Yeah. Yeah, he's been practicing better, and you know he was he fought he fought at Northern Iowa, and, and produced and did good things, and he's been going to the glass. So uh, now he's four for ten. Uh, he took ten shots, but when you play that hard, uh, that's what we need, and, and we need a spark. Paul, taking advantage of your second chances may have been the difference in the game. Twenty-two. Both teams had 17-16 offensive rebounds, but 22-11 second chance points. Obviously, that was big in this. That week. was huge. You know. They really hurt us uh, on the glass early. Uh, I thought Murphy uh, got he got six offensive rebounds. We were telling Cam you got to get them out. Um, but for the most part, um, to get 17 offensive rebounds, to have two guys, to have two guys with a double double, uh, that's outstanding. And uh, Chris Kendricks got five offensive rebounds. Loomis got five. Um, we made some mistakes down the stretch. There's no doubt about it told Cam, we asked Cam first thing after the game, if you're in that situation again, and you can't help him because we don't have any timeouts, what do you do? And he said, I just eat the basketball. I don't throw it in if he doesn't have it. And then at least we could, get, could have gotten our defense set. But uh, there could have been numerous times with the way that went that our, our guys caved in and they didn't. What does that say about the maturity of your team, not letting that happen? Well, I still don't think we're a very mature team. We've got a lot of youngsters out there. But like Ryan Crackwell, you know, he's been outstanding uh, as a freshman. I believe Rick said the other day he's leading the league in three-point field goal percentage. Well, he didn't make any shots today, and he only played 14 minutes, but I put him in, and he grabbed two big rebounds at the end. And uh, um, that's hard when you've been sitting there the whole game. But really thought our guys fought and uh, had the right mindset.